Hello again, YouTube. We are returning to Helper the Hero with the wheel ability. Now, I realize I did a previous run with this, but that was because it ended up too long. The video ended up being around uh, 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes, I think. And that means that I couldn't put this all in one part. So, you'll have to see me do this again with some prior knowledge, but oh well. As you just saw with Wispy Woods, there's, um, yeah. Well, let's explain some of the wheel abilities first. When you're charging forward with wheel, you are invincible. When you stop, turn around, or you hit a wall, you lose your invincibility. This is a fact that you had to take advantage of in order to do a reasonable time with wheel and do reasonable damage without killing yourself. As you saw Wispy Woods earlier, you might want to go back to see that. If you hold the Y button, your jump button, while you're charging forward, you can break. And when you break and run into a wall, you don't collide with a wall and get knocked back. It's so useful to destroy projectiles still that can be destroyed in one hit. As for bosses like Krako, you might have to jump in order to hit them, which is done. Which I turn around there in the wrong time, but in order to hit airborne bosses like Krakow and Dynablade, you have to jump to hit them. But most of the time, when your attack pattern with he oh he with wheel would be to just charge forward and go back and forth across the arena. Sometimes this is impossible, but this is pretty much the strategy for wheel. You are invincible. When you're charging forward, this has to be repeated. You are invincible. But for bla uh, for cases like Dino Blade, you do have to jump. You are invincible when you're charging forward, though. Now you're jumping. So that means you can charge forward through projectiles that, or whatever harmful attacks there might be. Normally, touching Dino Blade's talons would hurt you, but if you charge through them, you wouldn't be hurt. So, yeah, that's pretty much the only strategy. If you time yourself when she's falling or rising up when you charge forward, you might be able to get a score and actually hit on her. As for Fatty Whale, here's where you learn that positioning is a huge thing with playing with wheel. You need to position yourself in the right place, otherwise you're going to get hit unnecessarily. Or get hit a much of unnecessary amount of times. In some cases, it's good to go for an attack, but other cases, it's very dangerous. Here, I wanted to go rush to fit this in one video, but... If you can only get one hit safely on the boss with wheel, it's best to just stick with that one hit. Don't be too risky unless you're comfortable with the ability. In fact, this is demonstrated further with Gamelio Arm, because I make a few mistakes. When I collide with a wall, I bounce straight into Gamelio Arm. But this is an obvious, obvious demonstration of safety and... or being safe and positioning with wheel. You can dash through his tongue attack if he has already stuck out his tongues to not get grabbed because, like I said, it, gives you, it makes you invincible. And here's another positioning problem, because I got myself hit twice on the body of the Poppy Brothers when I really, really shouldn't have. I got around the walrus here because I was thinking that I might need to reposition myself, but no, I was fine. So next is the Iron Man. That's cool. We'll just continue this, continue the repeated attack pattern. Left. Right, left, right. In fact, this guy even makes it easier by giving me space to move around. You don't want to actually fight an enemy in the corner. Fighting an enemy in the corner is near suicide. What I said earlier about breaking against the Wispy Woods really is only useful if there's a projectile or you don't want to be knocked up. Because ramming into the wall or ramming into the boss typically does more damage. And with the boss's invincibility time that they have per hit, it's best to not really skimp out on time here. 
Heavy Lobster is also another case of positioning. I would have charged right there before he boosted forward, except I would have gotten hit when I bounced back. And I'm not attacking him here because of the same reason. Wait for him to move forward, and then start the attack run. And here I got a little hasty, which is a good play a good case of you know knowing when to back off and when not. This is also a bad case to try and attack. That that last turn was a little risky too, but I think I would have been able to make it. I don't know. But now that I have space again, I am ready to attack again. This is the whole point of playing with wheel. It's playing with wheel reasonably safe. You need to position yourself. So I'm unsatisfied with the damage I've taken, so I take a tomato and starts the computer virus. Now I noticed if you start your attack run from the right, I'm not sure about the left, you actually end up a little safe. Or not a little safe, but you can actually score two hits when you run through if you time it right. And those two hits add up, especially when, especially when the, the boss decides to defend itself for... Uh, to, to make the video or whatever run you're doing last much, much, much longer. Remember, you have to start the attack run when they come down. I believe it's when you start your attack run that you that you speed up slowly so that you get and that two extra two hits rather than one when you run through. See, like that, that was only two. That was only one hit rather than two hits when I ran from the right. And there's another demonstration of the invincibility frames as I dash through the stars. And here's the great dragon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is this is how I deal with the computer virus with wheel. I am not sure if Kirby's wheel is uh, somewhat the same regarding this, but it I don't know if it's worth mentioning or not. Helper attacks, Great Dragon takes 59 damage, Great Dragon petrifies itself because you really really need a longer video. Helper attacks, the Great Dragon takes 16 damage, Great Dragon attacks, I dash right through it. Helper avoided the attack, Helper attacks. I mean using, using the wheel charge is just a good demonstration of showing why or rather how it gives you invincibility frames. Dash through it, and you beat the Great Dragon. Helper defeated all the enemies. Now, next up is Meta Knights, which I uh, really would think would be a bad choice or to use a wheel against, but his AI actually makes it so that he's swinging, not randomly, but he's confused if he keeps the keep of the relentless assault, essentially. At least I think so. I mean, it's just pretty much a basic attack pattern with wheel, just go left and right, left and right. I don't really see there's too much difficulty with that, but... With Wham Bam Rock, you have to deal with the invincibility timer when uh, the boss gets hit a little differently. The way I do it to maximize on time is to jump when he, when it, um, and attack him when the hand comes down, and turn around so that you nail the hand when it comes back up. This will bring it down to half-life, so he'll do the, the uh, palm slam instead, which I'm not sure if he'll follow up with a second attack, but I don't know if you want to experiment or not with that. Sometimes you'll have to jump to get some extra hits to make the, to make the run a little faster. I mean, you can play it safe, yes, but I'm trying to make the run fast so that I can fit it in one video. I was trying to experiment here with um, Wham Bam Jules movements. I think you can hit the, the tailpipe of the wheelie counts as part of the wheelie hitbox when you charge forward. Which is helpful information if you want to maximize on you know trying to nail the boss with your extra attacks. Which I kind of got a little overconfident there and got hit. Another demonstration of invincibility frames as he tries to charge forward with his fist but I ran right through it. And we got into this attack phase. One, two, three, and you're done. That's 
is Helper to Hero with Wheel. I hope you enjoy this, and we will see you next time.